Hi, I'm Julie Marie and I'm here in the Protective Diet Test Kitchen and I'm excited to show you a technique video to go along with my latest recipe for pretzel rolls. They're like sandwich buns that taste just like soft hot pretzels. And first we're going to add our moist ingredients to our dry. This is a Protective Diet recipe that is part of our premium programming, part of Protective Diet Education. It's to help make the recipe easier to follow and eliminate any challenges or questions you might have while making these at home yourself. These are made with whole grain flour and really easy to come together. They're my favorite sandwich bun or bread right now. Usually my latest recipe is my favorite. Put the dough out onto the counter, and we're going to knead this together. And I'm making this video to show you how easy it is to work with flour and how neat it can be. My doughs for all of my recipes that use flour-based doughs are really, really neat and easy to work with because I'm not a big fan of baking, and I'm definitely not a big fan of cleaning up. So I like easy recipes with quick and easy cleanup where it's not a big mess left behind. You'll see how easy this dough comes together and virtually no cleanup. And we also didn't need to flour our counter because I, the measurement for the flour in this recipe versus the moist ingredients is exactly precise and it will knead right into this dough if you just keep working it and there won't be a speck of flour left on your counter once you're complete. Roll it into a ball like this and put it back into the mixing bowl and set it aside for one hour to rise or longer if 10 gets away from you, that's just fine. I have one that's risen and ready to go and we're making this into eight pretzel rolls. So I'm going to knead it back together again And then roll it out, cutting it in half, and then each half into four pieces to make four, or into three pieces to make three rolls. We're making six rolls. You could make smaller rolls, but I want these for sandwich size rolls. So this recipe makes a nice sandwich size if you cut them into six, six pieces. Roll them into a ball and then place them onto a lined baking pan with either a silicone mat or parchment paper and allow them to rise for one more hour. My pretzel rolls have risen for the second time and they're ready to go into the alkaline bath. My water's boiling and I'm gonna carefully drop them in top side down and set my timer. While I was waiting for my rolls to rise, I cleaned up my workspace, I took my dog for a walk, and it went well over the hour suggested rise time, which is totally fine. So if you prepare these in advance and you have other things to do, it's okay if you go over that hour time. You want to take a slotted spoon or spatula in order to flip these. My second side is finished and I'm taking the pretzel rolls out and setting them bottom side down onto a clean dry kitchen towel. This will allow them to dry off a little to allow for browning when we put them into the oven. Cut a small X into the top of the pretzel roll. This is a typical design found on a traditional pretzel roll. I'm 
Next step would be to salt them with a coarse salt, a coarse sea salt, coarse kosher salt, or you could use, the best would be pretzel salt. This salt will show up, it won't melt into the buns because they've had a chance to dry up a little bit, but you still want to get the salt on while they're still moist from that water bath so that it sticks. And then transfer your pretzel rolls over to your lined baking sheet and into the oven. And don't forget to set your timer. My pretzel rolls have been cooling. This allows me to cut them a lot easier using a serrated knife. And if you're not gonna use them right away, I would recommend cutting them and then wrapping them in plastic wrap and storing them in your freezer because these toast beautifully straight out of the freezer for sandwiches or if you just want to eat them along with a bowl of soup or with salad this is a nice um, starch based item to add to your 50 50 plates to your salads to your vegetable based soups I love them filled with either protective diet, mock tuna salad, or the skinny chicken salad. It's a faux chicken salad. Put a nice amount of that on top. I'm going to add some of my broccoli sprouts that I've been sprouting to add sulforaphane protection to my sandwich. And this would be an awesome after-school snack, lunch with a cup of soup. This would be perfect, or a side salad. And Jerry's been waiting, so I'm going to hand it off to him. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe for pretzel rolls, and you give these a try. Also, take a look on ProtectiveDiet.com if you're a premium member. If you're enrolled in Protective Diet Education, there's also a soft pretzel recipe that's very similar to these pretzel rolls. That's a lot of fun. I'll show you one of those. I have one here. And they're awesome to dip into cheese sauce. So check out that recipe as well. You could also split this recipe in half and make half pretzel rolls and half soft pretzels. Take care and best of health to you.